So the Nobel Prize in Physics got announced today, and I want to try to explain it to you without lying to you, which I don't know if I will be able to do. But regardless, if I succeed, you should feel very uncomfortable. So one of the things we know 100% about the universe, nothing can travel faster than light. If you have no mass, you go the speed of light. If you have some mass, you can't go the speed of light, but nothing can go faster than the speed of light. Einstein proved this. He was very confident about it. He was correct. But you can entangle two particles together. You can do something to like two electrons and have them be entangled. And there's this property called spin, which is basically you can measure it with magnets. It, it, like a, a spinning electron is a magnet. And so you can push on it like a magnet. Magnet. And they, they spin either this way or, or the other way. And, uh, and so one will go this way in a magnetic field, one will go that way. Uh, and in, in the case of two entangled particles, then you can shoot them off in different directions and you don't know which way they're spinning. Uh, and in fact, they are not spinning anyway until you measure them. And then it is decided that they are spinning a particular way upon being measured. And you can uh, detect one of them. And then if, when, if you detect both of them at the same time, you will discover that one of them is going up and one of them is going down all the time. 100% of the time, if you measure them, one's going up and one's going down. There isn't like a variation like around. There's either up or down. It's binary. But if you measure one of them first and then another one later, the, one, the first one's going up. Later on, you measure the second one, it will be going down, even though during all the time it hasn't been measured, technically, according to quantum mechanics, that isn't known or determined. Now I know what you're thinking. Hank, why, how do we know? I don't know, they know. They've done a lot of experiments, they're certain about this. What Einstein thought is that like the two particles sort of communicated and there was some subtle physics going on in the background that we didn't understand, that like they would, they would hold on to that information as they traveled apart. But that's not the case. When we do these experiments, what we see is that the particles do not know what state they are in until they are measured and you can measure one of them and then another one and they can be so far apart, light years, light years apart and they, the information can travel between those two particles faster than the speed of light. Now, we don't know what that means, we, but we have proved it over and over again. And it's kind of like in physics, it's a little bit esoteric and people are like, don't worry about that. That doesn't, it's just sort of like a parlor trick. It turns out it's not a parlor trick. It turns out it can be extraordinarily useful and we are now using it in cryptography and quantum computing and stuff. And the relatively simple experiments that proved that Einstein was wrong and there is information being passed between these two particles over, you know, faster than the speed of light, that's what, that was what won the Nobel Prize in physics. It's very weird. I do not understand.